And turning now to weather, loving the warmer air that's been coming through. Not necessarily lo loving some of the rain that we've seen, though. <laughs> yeah, if you've noticed today, the cloud cover is coming back, and so that's signifying a big weather pattern change for us. And I know everyone excited for some Mardi Gras parades that are kicking off next weekend, but we are watching for some rain, especially on that Saturday. We'll talk more about that forecast in a bit. Here's a look at radar right now, and no rainfall in our area, but as you can see, all the white spreading across is the cloud cover that is building back into our area. We've had a very warm weekend, but don't get used to it. We do have a cold front that's moving through. Right now it's moving through parts of Texas, and you can see all these areas in yellow. That's a tornado watch through the evening. So some severe weather across parts of Texas and to the north into parts of Arkansas and Oklahoma. And this is continuing to make its way toward the east into our area. And as it does, we do have that potential for a few isolated thunderstorms. Here's what's happening. Our winds are out of the south, and so that's bringing in a lot of Gulf moisture, and so it's warmed us up. And as you noticed, we do have some cloud cover across the area. Once the cold front collides with all of this warm air, it creates the potential for some thunderstorms, and you can get some severe weather out of it as well. So for the start of our week, we do have some increased rain chances and the potential for a few isolated storms. In Texas, where we have the tornado watch, there's a slight risk for severe weather. That's the second level of five that the Storm Prediction Center puts out uh, for the percentage chance that you do see some severe weather in the area. As this weather moves toward the east, it does lose some of its energy. And so right now, we don't have that coverage for that potential for severe weather, but we still could see a few isolated thunderstorms going mainly throughout your morning and early afternoon tomorrow. Here's a look at that forecast. The rain still over Texas marches down toward the south. The more severe weather weather stays off to the north, but as you're heading out the door for work and school in the morning, a few isolated showers, better rain chances come as we go through the late morning, early afternoon. So as you're possibly heading out for lunch, maybe bring the lunch uh, to work with you throughout the day. That way you don't have to venture out with that rain potential finally starting to come to an end on your rides home from school and work. So things will be looking better. Some drier air will start to move in and we say goodbye to the rain chances for much of the week. We get lots of sun sunshine returning in the forecast. Here's the closer look at it and as we go through the overnight temperatures will remain quite mild. Some upper 50s to low 60s to start your Monday morning. Some isolated showers early as we go throughout the morning. You do get these pockets of heavy rain could have some embedded thunder within it as well. This will continue to glide toward the east as we go toward the early afternoon hours and then we start to say goodbye to the rainfall as we go into Monday evening and continuing into Tuesday behind the front though temperatures will start to drop once again. We do see some 40s and possibly some 30s returning as we go toward the middle parts of the week. On top of that, like I said, it's been humid across our area. Some fog potential as you're heading out the door early in the morning as well. Not expecting dense widespread fog, but some patchy fog could be possible in your area. It starts to taper off as we go throughout the late morning. Check out your temperatures though for today. Low to mid 70s. Everyone getting in on the 70s. Biloxi just missed out at 69 degrees, but for most it was a pretty warm and nice day across our area. We're still seeing some mid to upper 60s this evening as you're heading out the door. Mostly cloudy skies. It has been breezy as well. Wind out of the southeast at 10 miles per hour. So the temperatures will drop a bit mid 50s to the low 60s, not like those 20s that we had been seeing all week and then rain through the early afternoon. Tomorrow could be heavy at times, but clearing skies in the evening. I did mention the parade forecast for next weekend. We are monitoring that potential for some rain on Saturday should be clearing out though by Sunday. We'll keep you updated on that forecast. Again, it looks nicer for most of the week. Temperatures will drop into the 30s. Then going toward your weekend, we do see some slight rain chances.